Brown butter skillet chocolate chip cookie. We're about to make a gigantic cookie. Everyone can cut into it like a pie, and that makes it perfect for the big game, especially if we lay chocolate chips into it in the shape of a pattern of a basketball, which we're gonna do. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. First, we're gonna make our brown butter. So, the best way to do this is to use unsalted butter because the milk solids are gonna brown beautifully without being tainted by salt. So the butter's gonna foam up like it's doing now. You can see the impurities and milk solids sort of floating to the top, these bits of white. That's the stuff that's actually gonna turn brown. So just let it happen. All right, so it's starting to turn amber. The butter has really begun to brown. And at this point, I'm just gonna kill the heat. So that's it. I mean, you'll smell it right away. The brown butter adds a whole bunch of extra flavor to our cookie for basically no extra cost. When you think about it, it's really just a controlled burn of the butter. He's on fire! Let's start making this giant cookie. All right, we're gonna start with our butter. Here we go. Beautiful. Some brown sugar, granulated sugar. Let's just mix this around a little. The heat of the butter is now gonna melt this sugar just slightly. Lovely. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of vanilla. An egg. All right, we've got our brown butter, our two sugars, our egg, a little bit of vanilla. These are our wet ingredients. We're good to move on to the dries now. Coming in with some flour, all purpose. Mixing the flour in. Very nice. Okay. We're adding baking soda, it gives us a little lift. Coming in with salt. The best chocolate chip cookies have salt. Mm hmm. Great. Chocolate chips are going in. Okay, skillet. And we're gonna use this butter right here to grease the skillet. This is gonna prevent stickage. It's also going to make more buttery flavors. We're gonna put our cookie dough right into our greased up skillet. All right, here we go. Just try to push it out into all corners. Remember, we've got baking soda in there and that's gonna make it rise. Beautiful. So we've got our giant brown butter skillet chocolate chip cookie. Now we gotta make it look like a basketball. All right, so we've got that happening. Now we're gonna draw an axis this way. Now we gotta get our curves in there. Man, this is such a believable basketball. I'm gonna be dribbling it across the kitchen before you know it. Not only do we have a delicious skillet cookie in the making, but we've got a gorgeous work of art. Look at this. It's gonna be a big hit for the big game. Into the oven. Our cookie's beautiful, it has cooled down, and that means not only is it ready to serve, but it's not gonna melt this gorgeous ice cream we're about to adorn atop of the cookie. What's more fun than an ooey gooey chocolate chip cookie? One that has vanilla ice cream. This looks beautiful. I can't wait to dig into it. Ooh. I'm really excited to eat my giant cookie. It's only 59 cents a serving, and it's loaded with all the energy I need to get me through overtime. I can't wait anymore. We're gonna take the nose off right here. You got the ice cream on top of the cookie. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so delicious. It's crispy on the outside. It's perfect cookie doughy on the inside. And that brown butter, whew, what a flavor. I think the best part about this is the fact that it's a single large format cookie. So you're not spending a whole lot of time crafting individual cookies. 